Welcome back to TCG Dreamland. All right, this is box number two for us on the channel. This should be fun. The first box was not bad. It didn't have any of the really cool goodies you can get out of collector boxes, but did have a lot of mythics, a lot of nice pulls in the first box. So there will be a giveaway for this video. For every opening I do from now on, there's going to be a giveaway, and what I am giving away is the best hit of the box. So if you want to win the best hit of this box that we're opening right now, just put a comment down below. It's as simple as that. I use a random YouTube comment picker online in about five or six days after the video goes live, and that's how I choose the winner. So, just comment below. Spire Bluff Canal. Great train heist. We get a couple breaking news uncommons right before the full art land. And then it's just commons and uncommons after that. Lone Shark. I like that. I like that card. I might keep one of those just because I think it's funny. At this point, it's like collecting magic singles is just like so not financially worth it anymore. It's like... I'm just going to collect the cards that are funny. You know what I mean? I have a bunch of, like, squirrel cards. All right. Ooh. Crime and Punishment. Very cool. That is a mythic. Imp's Mischief. Angel of Indemnity. Bonnie Paul. Clear Cutter. Kellen, the kid, in the regular border. Hypothesizzle. And Heartless Pillage. They Apparently they decided to go with some funny names in this set. Stuff that you would find in like unsets. You know what I mean? With like the funny pun names or the names that are just like ridiculous. Just because it's funny. Alright, so this will be our hit. Oh nice, Morbid Opportunist. From the special guests. Very nice. Special guests are always... I'm trying to get a thing off my finger. It's stuck to my finger. Uh, morbid opportunist. Special guests are always foil in collector boxes. And they are always non-foil in play boxes. Alright. Cataclysmic prospecting. Pitiless carnage. Blooming marsh. And then we've got murder and ride down for the uncommons there. Very nice. Just looking at some of the artworks there. This is only my second box that I've opened. I opened a bundle, and then I opened one collector box right before this. Ooh, Tarnation Vista in foil for the big score. That's what that subset is. Oh, and a grindstone non-foil. Very cool. Double Mythic Pack. Embrace the Unknown. Seraphic Steed, and Marchessa. All right. Island. Nice looking full art island. Of course, now they do full art lands in every set, so it's not special anymore like it once was with, with uh, what was it? Uh, Neon Dynasty, Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. Duelist of the Mind, Void Slime, Angelic Cell Sword, got the Gitrog, Ravenous Ride, it's the regular set, Mythic. All right, another round, and then we've got Savage Smash times two for the uncommons from Breaking News. Very cool. So, I do, I'm do. i not familiar with all of these special guest cards, so if that is the best card of the box, then you'll have to tell me down in the comments below. Make sure to tell me what you think is the best card of the box. Fell the Mighty. All right, Cactus Preserve. Botanical Sanctum. Roxanne, Starfall Savant. Man, the foiling on these... Breaking news cards is really good looking. I'm not sure. I, I mean, it's probably not any different. It's just, just 
I guess on that background of how the breaking news cards looks, it's just more striking, I guess. All right, so fewer mythics than our last box. We have seven currently. At our last box, at the midway point, we had ten already, which was insane. It seems like these, you get more mythics in them nowadays because there's just a bajillion subsets, I guess. Ionize, Cruel Ultimatum, Smoldering Stagecoach, Legion Extruder. Very nice. The Borderless. Big score. Legion Extruder. Very nice. Oh, and another one. We got another double mythic pack. Very nice. Sandstorm Salvager. Buried in the Garden. And Terminal Agony. Yikes. All right. Hollow Marauder. Commons and Uncommons. Gin of Fool's Fall. Interesting. Phasmophobia, anyone? Right, bada bing, bada boom, reanimate in foil, very nice. All right, oh, there's another, is that the same one? Crime and punishment, yeah. Got another one in a non foil. This happened a lot in our last box. We just ended up getting so many mythics, we had a bunch of them in foil and non foil. All right, stinger back terror. I've gotten a lot of that card too. Back for more, fierce retribution. All right, here's the commons and uncommons. Man, I, I really want something good. We need something good. I want to give away a textures card. I would be more than happy. I would be ecstatic to give away a textured card. Aven Interrupter, not from this pack though, apparently. Ionize, Dune Chanter, Wily Duke. All right, Tai Joaquin is how I'm going to go with that. Alrighty. We have three packs left, it looks like. Alright, is this our big hit? Ooh, got a wanted poster. Geralt, the Flesh Rite. Interesting. It is a majestic, or not a majestic, a mythic. I open Flesh and Blood too, if you hadn't noticed. Uh, uh, a mythic wanted poster. That could possibly be a good card for the box. Electro Dominance. Ooh, Olivia Opulent Outlaw. That is a good looking card there. Red, purple, blue for the color scheme. That's a good looking card. It was very striking the moment I saw it. Tarnation Vista. Whoa, a mythic land. Uh, as it enters, choose a color, add one mana. Oh, interesting. Interesting. All right, I'll take it. All right, Journey to Nowhere. Two packs left. So it seems like there's one foil wanted poster per box. But there is not a raised foil or an, a uh, textured in every box. In fact, the textures on the says that textures are less than 1% of packs. So you'd have to open a few boxes on average to get one of those. Rumbleweed. Oh, Satoru. We got a wanted poster in non-foil. Interesting. All right. Free Strider Lookout. Tornado and Hindering Light. All right, last pack. Can we get something really good? Something that I at least know is really good off the top of my head. I don't know. I mean, a lot of these are new cards. A lot of them are reprints. So the reprints, I obviously, I obviously know if they're good or not. Siphon Insight. Rare for the last. Oh, and another one. Twinsies. Back in town, however you pronounce that guy. Satoru, the infiltrator. All right, hypothesizzle. All right, so that was the last pack. Now, I have heard that Legion Extruder is very nice, but I'll let you guys decide because I don't know off the top of my head 
which of these cards is the best of the box. So, Morbid Opportunist, possibly. Special guests are usually good. They usually only reprint good stuff for the special guests, don't they? So, Morbid Opportunist. The Wanted Poster, Geralt. Kellen the Kid. Crime and Punishment. Eris, Roar of the Storm. Olivia, Opulent Outlaw. Tarnation Vista. Sandstorm Salvager. Legion Extruder. Very cool looking. All right, Crime and Punishment again. Tarnation Vista. Very cool. The Gitrog. And a Grindstone in non-foil. So let me know which is the best card. Which card is going to be the giveaway prize? So make sure to comment down below. Make sure to subscribe so you know when I upload videos, every opening will have a giveaway from now on. So I'll see you guys in the next video.